go for a hike? So should we do the big long high hike or the small easy hike? The big one? I think we should put them to the test and see how their weight loss journey is going and go on the big hike. water nope he got shot down wow do we have some water what's this he doesn't want any hey you're like that friend that just pressures people to drink finally drinks it yes just a little sip I'm ready. Okay, we had to go grocery shopping because we needed a lot of food, and I figured I would just show you guys what we got. This is it. All this food was actually only $110. Can you believe that? No, I can't. Um, this is probably enough food to last us a week, I'd say. And yeah, it was $110. It's all organic. Don't panic. panic. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing that we got, which is the most important, is 10 heads of organic celery. And these were $1.99 a head at Sprouts. And we you can get them cheaper at Trader Joe's, but the thing is, like, they come in plastic. And it's $1.79 for two celery hearts, which you don't get, like, I don't know, it's different. They cut it off. I don't really know what the difference is between celery hearts and a whole celery head, but it's different. So then I got, um, I don't know how many pounds, but I got a bunch of organic red potatoes and then sweet potatoes as well for us to eat and we also feed them to the dogs because they really like to have sweet potatoes with their food. And then I got some organic turmeric and organic ginger for juicing. Just because we've been making celery juice in the morning, I figure I might as well, you know, before we clean the juicer, just throw in... Um, like some kale and cucumber and apple and stuff and make another juice because we have a ton of parsley in our garden that I would like to use up because oh, I yeah. planted it specifically to make green juice with and I haven't done it yet. Red delicious apples, some red um, leaf lettuce and then some romaine. I got a thing of raspberries and a thing of blackberries just because they are on sale at Sprouts and then I also got a thing of strawberries but I ate them all the way home. They also had organic mangoes on sale so I got four organic mangoes, some just one of these beet, this is just like a beetroot, <laughs> is that what you call it? A beetroot? Sure. Yeah. And then we got some avocados, cucumber, some carrots, some cremini mushrooms, always always buy organic mushrooms, don't ever buy non-organic mushrooms. Seriously. And then I got a radicchio, which is really good for salads. It just has like a nice flavor. I love radicchio. And then two things of kale. These pineapples are so big, like they're just massive. And they were on sale at Sprouts, two for four bucks. And I was like, why not? So we did that. And then we got some kombucha and lemons. Lemons.
see, but it's currently snowing, super cold, rainy, and disgusting outside. These are the days where it sucks living in a tiny house because we don't really have much to do and we kind of just have to chill in the house all day and occupy ourselves. We're recording a podcast too. Yeah, so we are setting up our kitchen which just, we have no space. Like it just, <laughs> it takes up half our house to like do this. So we're gonna record a podcast today and I wanted to plant trees today but that's probably not gonna happen so I think we'll probably end up cleaning because <laughs> it's just it's bad we have so much dust and stuff on our ceiling and like everywhere it, it gets really bad because we have a lot of animals and we live in the desert it's very sandy here and we try to keep up with it but we're you know not the greatest at keeping up with cleaning i mean we still have our christmas stockings up like what's the date today february 5th or something like we still have our christmas stockings. we should take those down can't take the stockings down. Cat stockings. How did you put this one up here? I just got untied. Oh my god, look at the dust. Look at that. Ugh. It's like everywhere. It's on the walls. Like, what are these spots on the walls? Tana has clean in 101. You'll be done in 10 minutes, so that's the good thing. <laughs> that is the good thing about having a tiny house. We can power clean this thing if we put our minds to it in like an hour and it'll be sparkling clean. If we work together, but Derek, Derek isn't in the room. What? I clean more often than you, probably. No, you don't. Bullshit. We probably clean the same amount. Okay, we'll we'll play uh, we'll play that game then. Watch, this is how you get up the ladder like a pro. Ready? Like do it one-handed, like this. Oh snap! What is that? <laughs> Look at that! You gotta get. Ooh, I did get most of it. There's like all this dust. Like what is that? It looks like someone, one of the cats like came up here and threw up. That's what it looks like. It probably happened at least once. The cats have been known to throw up in random places. I'm just editing our podcast right now. I'm not, uh... Trying to be a lazy ass? That's right. The worst thing is when we clean the top of the fan. Yeah, we gotta turn that off to clean it. This is like a good thumbnail here. <laughs> It's like I do my side of the house and then you do your side of the house. Yep. <laughs> They're like, what is going on down there? It takes a lot of skill, man. You need a lot of strength to live in a tiny house. <laughs> you sure do. Start doing pull ups on like, do a tiny house workout video. And you're like, doing, like pull ups. For dinner tonight, I made this amazing potato curry that I make all the time. You guys have probably seen me make it before. Derek just always requests it, so I make it quite a bit. I will leave the recipe for you guys in the description box, but basically you just use chopped potatoes, some lentils, this time I added sweet potatoes, and then I add coconut milk and water and I cook that first. I like to add better than bouillon just because it gives it this nice flavor, and of course curry powder. I cook that in my instant pot for 25 minutes. While that's cooking, I will just rinse some rice. What I've really been liking lately is mixing black rice, brown rice, and red rice together. Sometimes I'll even put quinoa in this. Rinse that really good and then just throw that in the rice cooker on the brown rice setting. Once the curry is done, that is when I add in all of my vegetables. So I usually just add broccoli, cauliflower, maybe some carrots, some spinach, or kale. But I like to add that in at the end because or else it just gets really mushy. And then we just put it all together in a bowl with some red pepper flakes on top. It started to warm up and got a little bit nicer outside, so we actually were able to sit outside and enjoy our dinner. Let me know if you guys like this style of video. I really had fun making it and showing you guys more of our day-to-day -day life. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.